We just gotta hope we don't get rained on. We got some serious dark clouds over there. Oh no, the raindrops, here they come. Oh man. Yeah, we're starting to get rained on, y'all. That's not good. I'm gonna have to get out of this real fast. Yeah, those raindrops are too big and fat. Too big and fat. Yeah. So we're gonna get right here. May go up a little bit, but uh, this tree line, this tree line should provide us pretty good sh shelter from the rain. I just don't want some car to come flying around too fast and hit me. So I'm gonna go up a little further so they'd have, they'll be able to see me a little better. Yeah, right here is a good place. So I'm gonna get off the bike and lean it up against this mailbox. <clears throat> yeah, we got some big old raindrops on my on my camera lens, so I'm gonna just clean those off. See if we can get some footage of the rain while we're hiding from it. Most of that rain's running down the trunk of the trees, I believe. So. We're just waiting, waiting out the rain on a beautiful Beautiful late July day, really, when rain is a very rare commodity. Look at it coming down. Look at the rain. It's raining cats and dogs. I don't think it's gonna rain real long. We just got a little unlucky. But it's, it's starting to pick up. The wind and the rain's starting to pick up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we may have found ourselves in a little bit of a storm. Like a spring storm. Yeah, it's coming down. The wind is blowing pretty hard and the leaves and the rain are really coming down. Got a little armadillo right over there. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Let's walk over there and look at that armadillo. Well, we have to get out from under our tree if we do that. So I'm going to stay here. Yeah, that wind and rain, it's really picking up. Thank goodness we're not out in, we found a little shelter. It's, it's not much, but it's, I think it's enough. I really do think, I think the shelter that we found right here is enough. Oh. Oh man. Really starting to come down. We're just gonna ride it out, folks. That's all we can do. 
I mean, it's not ideal by any means because we don't have a roof over our heads, but I'll tell you, those trees, they really do make a difference. I'd much rather be here than just out in a field getting rained on. They're blocking some of it, but not all of it. This is way too much rain, y'all. I'm gonna have to cover up my camera, but the forecast said that there was like less than 0.01 inches of rain. Like a very small chance of getting less than 0.01 inches. And we're getting like over an inch, it seems like, so. I gotta cover up my camera. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've just had quite the torrential downpouring of rain. So I had to cover up my camera and make sure it didn't get ruined because that rain really started coming down. It's still, still coming down, but not hardly anything like it was. Like the wind picked up and it got real dark and it just started, like the bottom fell out of the sky. I'm not even kidding. So, um, but now I think we're good to continue on. Kept my cell phone dry enough. So I'm gonna put it back on the bike and we're gonna get on the bike and continue on with this, with this ride. But yeah, it's just part of it. I got wet, but to tell you the truth, I probably could have used a bath. You know, I've been huffing and puffing since I left Gainesville this morning. I got really sweaty and uh, it's like getting a shower. My bike, it's all clean now. It's like uh, it got a bath too. All right, let's go. Yep, instead of being drenched with sweat, now I'm drenched with rainwater. Not that bad, really. <laughs> 